Hey you guys, Payday's officially been out for about a week, a little bit more for some of us with our fancy versions of the game, and I've been getting a lot of questions about skill builds. Uh, so today I'm going to walk you through what my stealth skill build is set up for. I don't think there's a lot of variety with current points for where you're going to put your stuff. Stealth is still kind of like Payday 2 had been pretty one and done for now as far as I can tell. Uh, hopefully in the future we will get more skill lines added into the game which will give us more variety and more options there's also probably some stuff in here that i haven't even found yet it's just like oh shit that one interaction's really cool but just to start you off in the infiltrator tree we ace basic info or we ace infiltrator uh basic whenever you successfully pick a lock kill an enemy with a throwing knife you gain refresh rush aced is whenever a guard starts detecting you you gain rush this plus the next perk quick fingers as long as you have rush a successful lock pick jiggle will immediately pick the lock so you can get it in one tap uh allows you to lock pick in front of guards this is absolutely fantastic you can uh pick into the back of the secure ca capital bank for instance right off the bat while the guard looks at you not a problem just walk right inside uh you can pick the very beginning of rock the cradle straight in through the front door to walk in uh it's just fantastic for stealth and i recommend picking it up right away uh, if you're brand new to the game and you're a really low level, these aren't the perks you'll start with. I will get to those uh, when we get down there. But these are very important. It's something you will pick up fairly early on in your uh, journey to 21 skill point. I have bagger. As long as you have rush, you pick or you bag loot 50% faster. Uh, this is just nice to have, especially if you're doing some speed running like I have in Rock the Cradle. Uh, gave yourself a little bit of rush, pick the object up quicker, saves a little bit of time. It's not super important though, and so if there's something else you actually wanted to do with your skill build, you could totally afford to get rid of Bagger, especially after, say, the transporter perks start to come out here soon. This is one you could do away with pretty easily for some better ones. A little bit further down in Escapist, I like to take basic Escapist. You can get rush for sprinting for three seconds. This is just a really good way to get rush when you're not near any kind of civilian or guard to quickly pop out and get it. Uh, super useful if you're waiting for a hack just to rush around a room really quickly and get rush. Uh, I also take Swift. It just increases your sprinting speed when masked by 10%. It's just useful to have extra speed whenever it's available to you. You may as well take it. Uh, I like extra munitions. This is toss up for whomever is looking at the build. I like this because I use throwing knives in stealth to distract guards, make them turn around, walk them to certain places. It gives me a lot of freedom to move around uh, my obstacles when getting a high stun. So I take it for the extra two. Down in Manipulator, you tie hostages 50% faster. I only have this so that I can get Menacing, which allows me to take SWAT or Heavy SWAT and also allows you to have Guards Surrender. The Guards Surrender is the most important part for me. Uh, if a guard is being a problem in a map, you can just yell at them and you don't have to kill them. This only matters if you're doing a pacifist challenge. For the most part, killing them is just easier. Easier to hide the body, put people around wherever you want them to be. Uh, that said, I did use this to get the Spec Ops achievement in uh, Sky. Just because you don't actually have to kill them. You can just tie down two separate guards. Gives you a lot of control over the map. Uh, allows you to get the pacifist achievement fairly easily. I like taking this. I'm not using it for the loud. I'm not using it for the SWAT or anything like that. But this does allow you to take guards. And under normal circumstances, guards don't surrender to me. So whether that gets changed in the future or not, for now, I'm taking medicine. Grifter and Hacker are super important trees. Uh, Grifter, as long as you're masked off and within one meter of a civilian or employee, gain rush. This is great for maps that you don't mask up on. It's also great for getting rush with these next couple of perks like Walk the Walk. As long as you're unmasked and have rush, cameras can't detect you trespassing in private areas. This is fantastic for Golden Shark, for instance. If you can get to the second floor without having to put your mask on, this allows you to pretty much freely run around the second floor and complete all the other objectives. Cameras don't care, civilians don't care, and there's a lot of civilians to bump into to just get rush automatically from the first part of Grifter. Also, social engineering, as long as you're unmasked and have rush, employees will ignore you performing illegal actions. This is great for maps like Dirty Ice. It allows you to rob the entirety of the front room without putting your mask on. So long as you're looping the proper cameras and paying attention to the single guard that's out there, you can steal everything in casing mode and run it around to the back. Uh, pretty cool. I like this talent a lot. Open mic, radios are 50% faster. That's just nice for the few times you actually have to answer radios. Slippery, after getting cuffed by a guard, you can break free of lockpick by lockpicking the cuffs. This isn't super useful in a lot of scenarios because you shouldn't be getting arrested anyway. It also immediately masks you up when you lockpick the cuffs. Uh, but I will say that this is a part of my speedrun strategy for Rock the Cradle. If I don't happen to get the... Uh, 
sorry, the radio hack off on a guard it was super quick. And he cuffs me. It's cool. I can still do this. Continue on for my like one minute and 30 seconds speed run right now. It's quicker to not, but it is something that does help. It does have its purpose. It can help you not completely lose a run when you get caught somewhere you're not supposed to get caught. It's just kind of nice to have. Uh, hacker, these, this right here, these two, this is where your first couple of points should go. If you're just getting skill points, you're brand new to the game. Hacker basic uh, allows you to hack into the CCTVs so that you can get into cameras. You can go run through the camera network. You can move cameras out of the way if you're playing with your friends so that they physically can't see them, won't detect them, just have them stare at the roof. That's awesome. Aced allows you to get two run times and overload uh, cameras so that they explode. The overloading doesn't matter if you play on overkill like I do, and you probably should be because you'll be learning better habits by playing on overkill than you will playing on lower if you're stealthing. Uh, double runtime or the camera explosion, sorry, doesn't work. You can't blow up the cameras because they're Titan cameras. Uh, so that button actually doesn't do anything even if you hit it. But it does give you a second runtime, which is really important for secure loot. You gain one extra runtime to make the security camera your controlling loop its footage. This means that you can turn cameras blue. Blue cameras do not detect us. They still rotate back and forth, but they don't do anything. Uh, a map that this isn't 100% true on is Golden Shark. If you loop a camera there, it has Cerberus Core as its modifier for overkill. Uh, that will cause them to stop looping after about five seconds, uh, which means it's really not even worth looping them 99% of the time anyway, unless you're looping it for a friend. Uh, that said, though, getting this allows you to loop two separate cameras. On a lot of maps, two separate cameras is like the entire area you're looking at. That is super useful if we're looking at a map like uh, Under the Surface, because Surface Art Gallery has got 40-something cameras, 44, I think. And being able to loop like two in a hallway will let you get into security, for instance, 100% of the time, so you can shut them off. That's just great. This is where I would put my first couple of points for sure. If you're new, I would then probably go up and get things like Infiltrator and Quick Fingers so that you can lockpick into stuff. Uh, but that's for sure. And then the Grifter stuff is nice for Mask Off, but this is 100% where you would start. Uh, I also have Glitch Protocol. Glitch Protocol is pretty broken. I don't know if this will ever get changed in the future, but uh, yeah, no, Glitch Protocol is super, super strong. If a guard catches you and you're masked off and he goes, hey man, you're not supposed to be here because you're in a private area and he's going to escort you out, you can just hack his phone and he'll forget he's escorting you and go back to what he's doing. And you can just walk away. Uh, you can also do it to people that are coming to arrest you. It will cause the entire map to go into search afterwards, but it stops you from getting arrested. And if they cuff you, they're gonna go into search anyway. Uh, so yeah, this is a super strong perk. These I was where I would go first for sure. Uh, down from here, the only other things I have is strategist, basic and aced. I like to be able to mark three targets. It's super useful when you're playing with other people and you're explaining things to them and what you're doing. We can now mark civvies in Payday 3, so that's fantastic. You can mark like two guards in a civ and be like, hey man, there's a lot of people over in this area. You should be aware of where they are and where they're looking before you move through. It's great, especially if you're teaching newer players as I have, or if you're playing with uh, people that like to move super quick while we're doing a little bit of training for speedrun. It's super good to be like, hey, you can't jump that wall right. Uh, this isn't required, though. I could pull this off and put these points anywhere else. The new transporter tree is coming soon. That's something I may do. Uh, taking down a guard will immediately answer the radio. Cover up is just nice. It saves you time if you're going to choke out a guard. Um, it's not super necessary because in almost every scenario where you're going to use a takedown on a guard, you can just shoot that same guard and move their body somewhere. And it's going to be the same as holding F to take down, but you're holding F to answer radio. And we already have increased radio perks somewhere I can't remember now here radio is faster on open mic so you know it, it doesn't it's it doesn't really help because the increased speed doesn't go for takedown and I don't have the takedown one which I think is CQC somewhere yeah 20% faster right there and even then it's not as good but this is my stealth build. This is what I run for stealth. This is basically all there is to run for stealth. I don't think there's too much wiggle anywhere else for things that are super useful to you while you're not seen by cops. So, yeah. But there it is for you. Uh, I hope that helps in some way, shape, or form. Enjoy. Happy heisting. And good luck getting those stealth completions, guys. Later.